amazing video this afternoon of a one month old baby being rescued in Houston. The crew on board a National Guard chopper swooped down and lifted this newborn baby to safety. But it's not just the young who need help. A nursing home had to be evacuated after floodwaters quickly rose in Port Arthur, Texas. With water filling the building, many residents on beds and wheelchairs were loaded onto rescue boats. Now, meanwhile, Tropical Storm Harvey took a second swing at the Gulf Coast today, this time triggering flooding along the Texas-Louisiana border. Volunteers are still helping rescue people in Houston stranded in the floodwaters, including this group of people who formed a human chain to help an elderly man trapped in his vehicle. But there was also this tragic story. Crews have found a van swept away by floodwaters. Inside were the bodies of two grandparents and their four grandchildren. The death toll is now up to 23, but that number is expected to rise. Reporter Kenneth Craig is in Houston with the very latest. Well, Liz, hello to you. I'm standing outside the city's convention center where hundreds of volunteers are continuing to line up, so many of them from all over the place who just want to help. Heroic rescues are now underway in southeast Texas after Harvey dumped more than a foot of rain in a span of hours. Rescuers threw a lifeline to a man clinging to a tree limb in rushing water. In Liberty, this woman escaped her mobile home through waist deep water. Now it's just. What to do next? Rescuers brought this truckload of senior citizens to a shelter in Orange. In Houston, people are finally seeing a glimmer of hope following six days of historic rainfall and catastrophic flooding. The water levels are going down. But as the water recedes, the death toll is rising. Police found the bodies of two grandparents and their four grandchildren inside a van that disappeared in floodwaters. Our worst fears have been realized. And the rescue efforts continue. There are still people who uh, are in their homes. They've been trapped on the second floor. Volunteers like Greg Goshasan and Riley Fielder from Louisiana are helping. We don't know where they're at. If they're still in their attics and they can't get out. You go, sweetheart. Today they rescued two families and found flood victims still refusing to leave. At least 17,000 people are crowded into 230 shelters here in Houston, and now officials are trying to determine how long they will have to stay. About 40,000 homes have water damage. When water sits in a house for several weeks, uh, the house begins to degrade. So far, FEMA has received 195,000 requests for help. Officials predict it will take years for Houston to recover from Harvey. That curfew that was in place last night here is back in effect again tonight. That is unfortunately to prevent looting at flood victims' homes, Liz. And Kenneth, we saw in your piece that you were out there today and witnessed some of those incredible rescues. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Yeah, that was really amazing and extraordinary to see because these volunteers, the men we were with, were civilians from Louisiana who put their lives on hold, got on the road yesterday, drove hours overnight to be here and to help complete strangers. We went through na uh, neighborhoods that were just completely submerged in water, and you would look down the street and the water would just go on and on and on, essentially to the horizon, it appeared. We went by some homes and we saw people stranded inside those homes, but still refusing to leave and they don't have to because there's not a mandatory evacuation there but we also stopped by several homes where we did help some people out two different families uh, five cats two dogs mm -hmm. now those people are on their way to higher ground list wow amazing people out there all right Kenneth thank you not just homes flooding in and around Houston has forced about 20 hospitals to evacuate or discontinue their service as many as 1,500 patients have been transferred. St. Luke's Vintage Hospital evacuated 29 people on Monday. They had to use boats and trucks. Our biggest concern was the water that surrounded the hospital accessibility. And we did have some water that got into our main powerhouse where all of our operational power and needed life-sustaining equipment comes from. Talk about dedication. About 40 nurses and staff are still inside that hospital. And as the waters recede, emergency rooms across the region are bracing for an influx of new patients. Thousands of people have lost their homes in the floodwaters of Harvey, and many don't have flood insurance. The Insurance Information Institute says only 15% of the homes in Harris County, where Houston is, are covered. 
Most mortgage companies require government flood insurance only for homes within designated flood zones. It looks like with Harvey, maybe as much as two-thirds of the damage will have happened outside of those flood zones. After Hurricanes Katrina and Sandy, the government stepped in to help uninsured homeowners. But the National Flood Insurance Program is run by FEMA and is currently about $25 billion in debt. Trying to bring in some hope, an impromptu performance at a storm shelter, lifting spirits in Houston and beyond. Now this group of gospel singers is going viral. We know many people here in the Bay Area want to help those flood victims in Texas, and here's how you can do it. The Red Cross is accepting donations via phone, email, or text. It's easy. And we've compiled a list of other charities helping out as well. All that information is on our website at the very top of cbssf.com.